Today I'm just going to briefly show you how I set up my Blue Yeti microphone for OBS Studio and Linux. Now this isn't about the settings inside the mic itself. We're focusing on positioning plugin settings in OBS and two ways you can fix that hollow sound that you sometimes get when you're recording with this mic and probably what you're hearing right now. It does sound a little hollow. Don't worry, we're going to address that here in a minute. So the first thing that I realized even when I bought this microphone was that this is a side addressed microphone. The one thing that evaded me and you will see in other videos so I was kind of talking at an angle and that was because it wasn't picking up certain sim uh, certain uh, syllables and things like that and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't like getting the full sound. I, I couldn't figure out like what was really going on and so I just angled it that seemed to work a little bit better but I was still never really satisfied with my sound well I finally found out that this is the best position for uh, my mic now it doesn't look great but it could be worse right okay but anyway, that's neither here nor there. The one thing that I realized was when I had my mic down here out of sight, that's when it wasn't picking up those syllables. But when you have it like parallel where you're talking directly into the mic, it picks up everything. And what's like ideal is that you have it slightly away from your mouth. So you, like you're talking here and it picks up everything here. And that way, it basically uh, makes for a smoother, a smoother pickup on your speech patterns. The one thing that I want to do first and foremost, I want to basically show you how using background music can absorb background noise. Now, this is especially helpful if, like me, you can't fully eliminate that hollow sound in your space and I cannot no matter how hard I try like I could possibly put some padding on the desktop and have a couple of acoustic panels and things like that and I do think those things would help I don't think I would fully get rid of it because I'm in a closed space it's concrete but maybe there are a few things I got a bed behind me that absorbs some of it but there's not much I can do. I'm just going to add the background music in three, two, one. Now, there's a colossal difference of how it sounds. You want to get the right track, not the one that has really harsh or extreme sounds. Clashing notes usually don't complement well with vocals, right? And... And, and that's unless you are intentionally singing to a certain style, then maybe. But overall, when you're just talking into a microphone that you need like a very ambient sound or something that will bring out your vocals and drown out all of that other garbage, right? Now, I just looked through YouTube library to find a good backing track. And that's all I did. But you can do whatever you want. You can pay for it, you know, even. Um, and that's definitely going to be on the table once I get monetized, right? I think you can hear how adding music helps reduce some of that hollowness, right? I think it's obvious right now. While it's not a complete fix, it does make it feel a little fuller without much distraction. And this was what I was aiming for in this particular uh, video. And it's really simple. Like to add it, you just add it. And then I would go um, just depending on the track anywhere from minus 28 dB to uh, minus 45 ish. That's a pretty good range for having background music. Okay, so let's just take a look quickly at my settings. I think this is going to be the big thing that I think everybody's going to want to know about. 
And so let's just take a look at the settings that I have. So if you go here to filters, you can see that there's a few plugins. Uh, why there isn't like LV2 plugins uh, for OBS on Linux, I have no idea. Or there is a way to plug in LV2 plugins or even Reaper plugins for that matter. Let me know. I, I would really like to know how to do that because um, I do use Reaper and I do use Ardour. And so I'd really like to know how to do that, actually. So let's look at the noise suppression. This is like for like if you have a fan behind you or like computer noise, you know, something like this. It won't remove like harsh sounds or loud sounds or anything like that uh we have a limiter um and uh that limiter i usually set between negative 5.5 to 6 it's a little low here but i don't really care and i usually have the setting at either 100 or 120 millimeters per second i think i'm gonna bump that up a little bit and then the expander uh, that's the next one. I always have this at like uh, two to one right here. And then the threshold I'll have like right around negative 20, between negative 20 to negative 25. Somewhere in that neighborhood has been working really well for me. Um, the attack, I always want to have this at my at two millimeters per second this really works you can try like three or four now if you have like there are certain microphones that are meant to be set at like 20 millimeters per second those are like your really high end you know 500 dollar microphones or whatever i don't have one of those and so this is uh pretty good though then uh, 120 millimeters per second is my release you want to have a long release uh, I've tried anything from 60 to 150 and 100 to 120 always seems to be like the best bet and then you need to have some recovery gain and that's usually somewhere between 5 and 7 maybe 8 if if you really need it and so now the compressor um, I have a ratio of 4 to 1 sometimes uh, 3.5 to 1 is good I've heard of people using 2.5 to 1 with really good results it just all depends um, the threshold I have to negative 27.5 but sometimes you know I've had it down to like minus 22 and it seems to work pretty good. Uh, the attack, I always have the attack and the release the same, you know, 2 and 120. And then the output gain, you want to actually have this at negative 4.6. Before I had this in the positive 4, like 4. Point, like 4.0. And that just made for really bad audio experience. And then, of course, after it goes through all of these filters then I just have a, a really simple uh, equalizer and I may want to set this mid down a little bit um, the, the low I don't need because um, I try like a really high low and there was just a little too much bass in my voice and so I think like something like this would be would work really well for me and that's pretty much my settings okay now this is a simple fix that makes a big difference okay the sound may still feel a bit hollow and that's where option two comes in just turn the volume the microphone volume down in obs that's what i'm going to do in three two one let me bring it down here okay now this is a simple fix that makes a big difference when your mic is too loud and it amplifies that hollow sound.
but by turning it down you actually get a more natural sound and a more balanced sound so let me show you how you can easily bump up the volume in Caden Live. So I have a pre-recorded version to show you the difference. I'm going to make the difference mid-clip, okay? I'm going to raise the volume, and then I'm going to mess with the EQ a bit. And so I'm going to show you all three versions of that. So you can right-click on the audio portion. You can raise the volume, for example, or you can go to the audio portion of the effects and normalize, and or you can just raise the volume. I usually prefer normalizing because it slightly raises like the softer spoken tones a little bit, but I don't always do that. I'm not going to do that here in this section. Um, a, I don't think I need it. Pretty much everything is pretty even as far as I can tell. And then you could add an EQ from like the same menu, right? Or in my case, I chose a stereo widener and I just basically just kind of messed with the settings until it kind of sounded right. And this is kind of what you're seeing. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I think Blend OS is only one fix away from stopping me from distro hopping, baby. For real. I'm going to give a brief overview of how the distro works, some problems I foresee, and maybe what I should get used to if I'm going to continue using this distro. So let's get into it. It sounds great in theory. One system that can run Arch, Fedora, and Ubuntu, and you name it, all in isolated containers. I mean, who doesn't love options? Now, there's nothing to say that we can't combine the two. Background music and reduced microphone volume you know, only to be raised in Caden Live and um, fixed that way, right? And that will happen in three, two, one. There you have it. This is my basic setup for the Blue Yeti on OBS Studio in Linux. The combination of mic placement and all of the plugins uh, lowering the volume will give me a bare minimum sound quality that I need for my content. It's probably not perfect, but I think it gets the job done without any like fancy studio gear. So if you have any questions or want to know more about how to configure your mic, just drop a comment below. And if you think there's more we can do to improve the audio even further, stay tuned. I'm always learning. And you could even drop a comment if you have any suggestions and always share the tips in future videos so thanks a lot